dynamic realm of MMA, John Jones stands out as an undeniable powerhouse, a standout figure whose greatness goes beyond discussion. His impact on mixed martial arts is like a vivid painting showcasing unmatched skill and prowess, truly capturing the essence of greatness. For the past 10 years, Jones has been the face of MMA, impressively holding a career record of 27 wins, one loss, and zero draws at the age of 35, solidifying his legendary reputation. Outside the fighting arena, he crafts a narrative that alternates between dominance and controversy, establishing himself as the ideal character for an MMA fighter. Embark on a riveting journey into the life of John Jones, the enigmatic figure who has sculpted himself not just as a contender, but as the unequivocal greatest fighter of all time. Join us in unraveling the layers of a living legend, where brilliance in the ring converges with a storyline that transcends the boundaries of conventional sports narratives. Jonathan Dwight Jones was born in Rochester, New York on the 19th of July, 1987. The third of four kids, John was the child of two pastors. And while they had a pretty nice family, John and his brothers pretty much discovered their love for fighting at an early age. I mean, if you were born with two other boys, I'm pretty sure you'd get into a lot of fights as well. Anyways, Jones and his brothers excelled especially well in sports while they were in school. However, while his brothers followed their passion for football and even both entered the NFL, John was more of an individual sportsman. He was especially good at fighting, with John claiming gold in the state wrestling division. John went even further, becoming a national champion in college. But his college career didn't last very long. John had fathered two children by the time he was just 20. The responsibility of it all meant that he had to drop out and find work. John's life might have been derailed, but he never lost a step. He was still a good fighter, and while working as a bouncer, he was approached with the opportunity to take his passion and turn it into a sports career. John made his professional MMA debut in April 2008, a fight that lasted all of a few minutes. With his debut win, John put the MMA world on notice, and he went on to amass a blistering 6-0 record in just three months. In fact, in his last fight before signing with the UFC, John crushed Moises Gabin at BCX5, finishing the fight off with a TKO in just the second round. John immediately got to work with his light now headed for the UFC. His debut against Andre Guzmo at UFC 87 on August 9, 2008 showed just how much of a challenge the UFC would be, with John having to win by unanimous decision. And even though his second fight also required a unanimous decision for Jones to secure his win, he had gotten enough juice by the end of fight three that the UFC rewarded him with a new four-fight contract. From then on, John would continue to impress, notching wins against men like Matt Hamill, Brandon Vera, and former IFL light heavyweight champion Vladimir Matyshenko. By 2011, John was ready for the big leagues, and after handing Ryan Bader his first loss early that year, he made his case. Well, it didn't take long for John to get his wish. His training partner, Rashad Evans, had sustained an injury in training and could not fight then UFC light heavyweight champion Shogun Rua. So, John was tapped to replace Evans, and boy, he did not disappoint. All it took was three rounds, and Jones hit Rose with a TKO to become the youngest champion in UFC history. John immediately went on to establish his dominance, defending his title successfully against Quinton Jackson in September 2011. He held on to his title until 2015, defeating men like Rashad Evans, Lyoto Machida, and Alexander Gustafsson along the way. But in 2015, he got his first suspension from the UFC after he was connected with a hit and run incident where he crashed into a woman and fled the scene. John was stripped of his bets just before he faced Anthony Johnson, with Daniel Cormier a man whom John had beaten in January of that year, replacing him as the UFC light heavyweight champion. After being reinstated in October, John was expected to face Cormier for a rematch, but Cormier pulled out following a foot injury, and John was forced to face Osinve St. Pro instead. As you'd expect, John came out on top, 
defeating St. Pro by unanimous decision in April 2016. This wouldn't be the only time John would get suspended, though. His issues were just starting. After locking the contract to fight Corriere again in July 2016, John was removed from the bout by USADA about a month into the fight after they discovered a possible doping violation. In November of that year, John got a one-year suspension. This meant that he was once again stripped of his interim title, making him the first fighter in the history of the UFC to get stripped twice. Still, the suspensions didn't stop there. Once again, John was set to face Cormier in July 2017 at UFC 214. He won the fight in the third round and recaptured his light heavyweight championship. But in August, he was once again flagged for a potential doping violation by USADA. He eventually tested positive for an anabolic steroid, and he was placed on suspension. To make things worse, the California State Athletic Commission officially overturned the result of the fight to a no contest after further tests showed that John's doping violation was even much worse than anticipated. Once again, John was stripped of his title, and Cormier was the champion. The rivalry between John and Cormier has been one of the most intense in the history of the UFC. Both men had a deep respect for each other, but it never really seemed like they would work it out. And when you consider the competitiveness of the UFC and the fact that they were both at the top of the sport, it's easy to see why their egos clashed. Sadly, suspensions and doping violations meant that the fans were ultimately robbed of an awesome series. Anyways, back to John. His reputation had taken a hit, but he was still arguably the biggest name in UFC. In December 2018, he returned to the UFC, facing Gustafsson for the vacant light heavyweight championship title at UFC 232. John hit a technical knockout in the third round, winning the belt again. John held this title until 2020, defeating men like Tiago Santos and Dominic Reyes along the way. But in May 2020, he entered into a conflict with the UFC over pay, and he was forced to vacate his championship. According to reports, John was looking to fight Francis Ngannou, and he wanted between $20 to $30 million. The UFC wasn't about to pay that money, so everyone was in a stalemate. Well, John didn't just stop there, though. He might not have fought for years, but in 2023, he returned to the UFC, this time as a heavyweight. In his characteristic fashion, John wasted no time. His first fight was against Cyril Gain for the vacant UFC Heavyweight Championship at UFC 285 in March 2023, and he made quick work of Gain, winning the bout via submission in literally the first round. That was the moment when this iconic scene was born. John Jones is easily the greatest fighter at this point. He's still got a lot in him too, so we should see the man for a long time. Who knows which other achievements he can notch up in his glistering career.